There are so many different kinds of sticky tape. Which is the strongest? Good question. Tell you what, we'll carry out a little experiment to find out which of four tapes is the strongest. Here's some ordinary clear sticky tape attached to a block of wood. And it feels fairly strong. Piece of masking tape on a glass comes off very easily. Doesn't seem very strong at all. Then a piece of that coloured vinyl tape on a sheet of cardboard. That certainly has a good grip. In fact, it's pulling off some of the cardboard as well. That does seem strong indeed. And then one of these paper labels. I'll take it off its backing paper, put it on my hand and try peeling that off. Mm, fairly strong, but I would say the vinyl tape is the strongest. What did you think of my experiment? I agree with you. It was awful. There were all sorts of things wrong with it. For example, we didn't say what strength was, did we? Do we mean by strength the force needed to peel tape? off something else? Or do we mean the force needed to tear across it, or to stretch it, or something else? Well, let's decide on that first. For this experiment, let's say that force to peel tape off another surface is what we mean by strength. What was wrong with the surfaces I used? Well, they were all different. Wood, glass, cardboard, hand. What we need to do is make sure they're all on the same surface. Let's stick to one surface, the table. Laminated plastic. What else was wrong? Well, I had different lengths of tape and different widths. Let's make all of those the same as well. You've guessed it, I've already started the experiment here, doing it the proper way. I have clear tape, paper tape, masking tape and vinyl tape, pieces cut to the same length and the same width, and they're all on the same surface. Now, I could just peel them off and say, hmm, that one feels stronger than that one, but I'm sure you would prefer it if you could see some sort of measurement of that force. Here's one of the simplest little force measuring devices you can make. It consists of a ruler, a rubber band and a paper clip. With the paper clip you need to bend it into that sort of shape. And you can see that I've already done that to four paper clips and attach them to the end of the four pieces of tape. Here's how we carry out the experiment. I hook the rubber band around the first one, the clear tape, and then I take the end of the ruler and tuck it into the other end of the rubber band and then I will push with the ruler until the tape just starts to peel. And I'll have a look at that point there where the rubber band joins onto the paper clip and see what number it's up to when we start to get the tape moving. Starting to move now, and we're up to 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12, and it's moving smoothly along. So we'll say that that one needed a force of uh, 12, 12 something or others. We don't know what they are, but 12 is the figure. Now we move our rubber band along to the Next little paper clip, the one attached to the paper label, hook the ruler in once again and try and make sure that we keep it parallel to the table and start pushing and watch that point there. Hmm, it's moving at seven, seven, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, and it's peeling off smoothly. So that one has a score of seven and a half, which suggests it isn't as strong as the clear tape for this particular surface. Now we come along to number three, which is masking tape. Remember, masking tape came very easily off the surface of the glass. Maybe the surface had something to do with it. Let's check this one out. Watch that point there. It goes up to 8, 9, 10. Not moving yet. 10 and a half, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, and it's starting to move. 16 and a half, and it's moving smoothly. 17, 16 and a half, 17, about 17. That one certainly seems stronger than the first two, and we give it a score of 17. Which brings us to the last one, the vinyl, which I guessed from my rough experiment at the beginning to be the strongest. So we hook the rubber band on, and once again we put the ruler in place and start pushing. And we're pushing smoothly, parallel to the table, and it's moving with a score of hmm, 11 to 11 and a half. So vinyl is 11 and a half. So according to that little experiment, it seems as if the masking tape is the strongest for peeling off this particular surface. I want you to see if you can work out and carry out an experiment to check the strength of those four tapes or any other tapes you like to add against tearing across. What we've been doing here is to carry out a little scientific experiment. When scientists work, they often work in this way. They say, hmm, first of all I'll ask a question, then I'll make a guess at the answer, then I'll try and make sure that I keep everything else constant except the one thing that I'm going to watch and measure. That's a scientist at work. And there are many different kinds of scientists and you'll find them all over the place.